Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 44 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And we do have a couple of games in this episode. We've got Southampton, uh, Newcastle going into the new year, going to play the FA Cup game. Uh, but potentially even bigger news, Andrea Pirlo is available to approach to sign. His contract is running out. And I do like to do this. If you watch my Manchester United series in FM14 as well, I like to do this with big teams. I like to get experienced guys in uh, for a free transfer when they're running out of their contract. If you remember last year, if people were subscribed, probably you're yeah, not heaps of you, but there might be a few. I actually signed Puyol, but I think it was a really cheap fee. It wasn't on approach to sign, but yeah, same reason. You can get older players uh, for really cheap or free, and they do so much for you more than just a good player. Of course, they come in as an experienced player. They're still good first team. Of course, Pirlo uh, is an amazing player. He's had an injury-interrupted season so far, so that's behind that. But last season, um, yeah, he played really, really well. He got seven assists, of course. The role he plays, like a deep-lying playmaker, whether it be defensive midfield or a center mid, he's never going to get heaps of assists. He's normally the guy who creates the chance, but yeah, maybe before a few passes before the assist for an upcoming goal. So, yeah, he's really underrated, but in that way, or would be underrated in his average ratings in Football Manager. Uh, he would be one of those type of players. So I still feel he can do a job for us. Uh, even if he declines in his physical attributes, because his best area is his mental attributes and his yeah passing attributes. So yeah, he's a real good player, and like I said, for experience for younger lads as well. When you've got a guy like Nicola Liali, of course they're not the same position, but they're from the same country, and yeah, Nicola Liali from the same country as well, Italy. Uh, yeah, hopefully he can just help him during training, maybe in the mental side of things or just things like that. It'll it'll do a lot more. Uh, than if we didn't sign him. So I like to go for those signings, if anything, like I said, for experience, and then maybe as a future staff member as well. That's another yeah, positive sign. And uh, considering he wants to impress me in his next performance, you think he'll yeah he'll pretty much accept the contract because it did accept. Uh, so just in the process of yeah, waiting a few days uh, for it to go through. And yeah, he's looking uh, at the possibility of becoming assistant manager once his playing days have ended. And yeah, I reckon it would be a real good assistant manager because our assistant manager currently isn't the best in the world. I just got him for the good judgment, uh, Benevin. And he's got some good man management and working with youngsters skills as well. So yeah, he's not too bad. He's good at a couple roles. So yeah, definitely good for the time being. But I, I really want to have an ex-player that is a quality assistant manager. So yeah, hopefully he does get those stats. And who knows how Giggs is going to develop. For those that forgot or missed it or recently new to this series and haven't watched it from the start, I have demoted Giggs uh, down to a under-18s assistant manager instead of being assistant manager of the first team. I feel that's a better role for, for him because he's a younger. He's a younger type, of course, so he can kind of have that uh, experience and growing up, I don't think he can go bang right into an assistant manager um, uh, for a top team. So yeah, just yeah, for the under-18s, I reckon that's good, and you'll be able to connect better with the lads as well, being a, a younger uh, type of manager for them. So I thought that was a good move uh, to bring in someone who's good judgment as well, because Giggs wasn't really a good judgment. Uh, but anyway, I did set up the team uh, before um, I started recording, so we can go bang straight in, because I knew I would have talked about that a little bit. Uh, so we'll go in, you can see the team, Just you can have a look at it, uh, looking pretty good, uh, if you don't, um, yeah... If you don't think it's good, <laughs> I don't know. I have to make rotations. I mean, yeah, um, I thought it was a good lineup, especially bringing Falcao back in. Uh, he's in, He is severely lacking match fitness. That's his problem. Uh, hopefully, we can get him back. We brought him on in the last game, so that's a little bit of match fitness there. Just did a few little nice things there, like three completed passes, and one of them was a key pass. Not a bad impact. Uh, but this is probably the last... Six months he's going to be at the team for us. I'm probably not going to get him on loan again uh, by probably just not wanting to. Because if you think about it, 250k per week to what he's done so far is not enough. Even though he's been injured, that's a, that's something you have to take into account. Maybe injury-prone player getting a bit older now. Next year will be pushing to 30. So you have to keep that in mind. I'm sure many of you would agree uh, that it's probably wise not to get him next season again. 
but yeah, of course, leave your opinions. But I'll just think, yeah, two hundred fifty k per week. I think it'd be used more wisely. And yeah, I'm not sure. I accidentally press enter there. I was going down, but yeah, I guess it worked out. Uh, got a nodded in agreement by Phil Jones and Raphael. Look to gain confidence, and yeah, a few others listen keenly and. Uh, Lucas Romero listened passionately. So, yeah, not a bad random talk there. Like I said, when I had the list there, I accidentally pen, yeah, pressed enter on my control because I usually press that to continue. So, yeah, it will be an interesting game here today against Southampton. But we do have a corner here. Can Belanta take the chance? He smashed that Fraser Forster, but he made a commanding save. Uh, but it's another corner. Mata, oh... <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking at Southampton's team. They've got some other Premier League players. Um, like, they've played for other Premier League teams. Let's see whenever they show up. Like, I saw Giroud in there who used to play for Arsenal. Uh, who else? Uh, they've got Davis. Uh, Wanyama, he's already there. Schwegler, I've heard of him before. Not in the Premier League. Chris Smalling, of course, we sold them to. He's actually been okay for them. He's got over a 7 average rating. Like I said, in January, I will... Um, yeah, I got an overview of my transfer, see which ones are fails and which were good, but it's long. Oh, what a good save, Liali. He's actually coming up with some seven ratings, and that's very rare for goalkeepers to get over a seven rating. He makes really good saves, and Yanazai, I've been working his finishing in training, and he showed the, uh, the ability really there uh, to take the chance uh, before halftime as well. Wasn't the most amazing first half uh, we have had. Marta's corners have been okay. Uh, you can see Depay jumping up there to try and cause havoc, but then Yanazai just smashed it at Forster, and he could not make the save, which I'm not surprised with the amount of players that were in his way. Like, <laughs> it's hard for a goalkeeper in that situation. You've got to be a bit sim uh, give sympathy to them in that situation. It's hard to save. But we'll say assertively and say guard against complacency. Only Bernat, I'll say... I want you to prove that ev to everybody that you've got what it takes to play for this club. Ooh, prove a point. Like, I I, I've, I never see that. I don't know why. Is it a rare occasion? Maybe because the game doesn't think he's been playing great or something. I don't know. I think he's been playing okay. Uh, but, yeah, at least the defensive side. Yeah, def apart from, yeah, Bernat, the rest of the defenders um, have good body language. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. Like, if you take the one reaction, your yeah, one bad reaction, but you get all these other good ones. Uh, Falcao, this is what I mean. This is not worth 250k per week. You could say, oh, he's injured, doesn't count. But he comes back, and he gets injured again. Oh, my God, we're going to have to bring on James Wilson. This is very frustrating when you've got a guy in those ways. Depay hasn't had the best of games as well, so bring on Giovinco, because we might need another goal. Uh, we'll just do two for now. Who knows, we might get an injury or something. James Wilson, calmly, show me what you got tonight. Uh, Giovinco, assertively, I have faith in you. So I'm trying to change up the, th the team thoughts. Uh, when I say one, I can see people, why someone would think that's a bad reason to do that. And then I'll try and do another one to cover all areas, basically. Uh, because, yeah, there's always people to criticize um, everything I do, so I try and <laughs> do a mix of uh, different team talks and everything, really. But if we can hold on here, we may not need another goal. Maybe just the last final sub. Have a little think about uh, maybe dragging Mata, and we'll bring on William Hughes. And then we'll just go to our control tactic, drop it down a bit, should be all right, and then we will say calmly... Um, yeah, let's see, or let's have more the same of you tonight, please. See, I'm not getting too many amazing reactions, uh, but sometimes you won't... It doesn't mean they're bad, that's the thing. It doesn't mean they're bad reactions. Maybe they're just taking it in, and they understand the job they have to do. But I always like getting good reactions. That uh, keeps me confident. Juru. Giovinco, good header. Giovinco, yeah, he, he wins his fair share of headers... For a smaller player. He does really well. He's determined to be, uh, yeah, I guess, win a title this season. Oh, Di Maria. Di Maria. Oh, that was a real good chance. Giovinco was there. Uh, was set to apply the finish as well. Can we score? Yanazai. To Rafael. Could kill it off here. Mata. 
Mata still going. One Mata and one Yama clears that. And we'll do it, yeah, like, like the last final minutes, I'll go passionately and say tighten up. And we'll confirm. And yeah, I know, I think a couple episodes ago, I said uh, if, if you would like to see this uploaded heaps, like three or four episodes uh, per day, like I said previously, or I did previously on the beta, I remember I was doing that. Uh, but there's kind of a problem with that right now. Um... I do want to do that, but right now it's getting to really close to that Christmas time and like everyone is home, like my brother and sister that from and not being at school anymore, so it's too much noise and everything like that. I find it hard to, uh, yeah, have time to, oh no, please don't score like that. That's what you get, Perman Schwegler, and it could be being offside, but yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not worrying too much about that and yeah, like a few, a few other things going on with me. And, like I said, conceding, like, normally I'd get pretty mad when I concede like that, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now, so it's like, when, like, when I'm playing a game like this football man, I'm not so much into it as I would have been, um, because I've got other things in the back of my head that's more important than just a video game, so I'm not going to get so, like, outrageous reactions, like, if I win or if I lose, so my head might not be 100% into it. Uh, making the best decisions or whatever, or commentary-wise, or whatever like that, because in the back of my mind, I've got other things going on, so yeah, hopefully you do understand that, and yeah, in terms of the upload kind of thing as well, it probably it won't start, I reckon, I've got a week, I've actually got the house to myself for a week in December, from about the early December, or, or mid-December uh, kind of time, around the 10th, 11th, uh, for about uh, for about a week, so that's kind of when I want to record a mass amount, because when it does actually hit that Christmas, that's when it's going to be even less videos, or less time for me to make videos, so during that week period, I'm going to have to smash out heaps of videos, and they're not going to be all uploaded, they're going to be yeah, like pre-recorded, so I'll make sure I have those videos going up, and so there's a few each day, so hopefully you do understand that. So, something happened here. Uh, it's pretty normal on first glance. It says, change your season expectations. And I just went still with challenge for the title. Uh, because we suddenly have 56 million. And I didn't ask for more funds or anything. It seems as though that's like a new... Uh, it's basically like the start of a season. When you do get those expectations and you get that money. It seems like I've got it again in January. I'm not sure. That's not normal. That doesn't normally happen, does it? But because I had zero transfer budget, maybe they thought I needed some, and they've given me 56 million. I could have actually said uh, to go for to win the title, which I probably will do, and to have an extra 10 million was about 65 million or something. But uh, yeah, I always like overachieving. If I say I'm going to win the title and I win it, it of course I do. I'm, I do what they say, but I don't overachieve. So I, I, I like to overachieve. So that's why I like to put it. Uh, the lowest one possible, uh, then overachieve uh, from there. So I guess it's good we get that money now. If we need to make a signing in January, I'm not sure if we need to, unless we sell someone. I'm still because we've still got a big squad. We've still got a big squad. So if you just go at a quick glance, you know, I did say I wanted to sign Marco Royce, uh, but I guess we have to see what's the situation if we go to scouting. And then I'll take the expiring off. If people wonder, yeah, wonder how you find players running out of their contract, this is how you do. But there isn't too many amazing players. That's why I went for, uh, actually, yeah, I did go for Andre Pirlo because there wasn't a huge guy that I wanted to get. So anyway, if we take that off, you take that off, and I'll take off the uh, yeah, unrealistic, so I'll just show realistic trance. Oh, Neymar would be realistic. Wait, I've got to make sure of that. Yeah, it's on... Whoa. No way. How much would they want? Nah, they, they, he probably won't accept Willy. But, if I go transfer offer, oh, I can't... It should say, do you know the board thing, like how I signed Burnett? It should say that at all times, not just randomly. Like, you know how you can say, a board to negotiate the transfer? Because we do have 56 million. Okay, but I have to be smart about it. Look, we only have 51 in the balance. I just get excited when I get a big budget. I go so excited and I try and sign a huge player or something. But sometimes you have to be smart about it. But I'm sure I'm not the only... Like, when you see that big budget, you want to sign... You, you want to spend it. But 
yeah, sometimes you have to be smart about it as well. Um, because in general, we don't need... We, the only one I wanted to sign was Royce, wasn't it? Where's Royce? Marco Royce. Here he is. Reports. Th oh, we could sign him. 33 million, 46 million. Marco Royce. And I know if he only could play one position, I probably wouldn't sign him because we have all these players right now. But he could play that left mid we play, that right mid uh, when we push up the wingers, when we attack, and strikers. So that's three positions. So I feel he would be an impact. And maybe I'll sell one player if so I can just fit the squad. I'm not really sure. And also, he won't be able to play in the Champions League games. But maybe a contender, Borussia Dortmund, we steal their best player, arguably. Who else did Dortmund have? Um, well, they've got no manager. Is that correct? View staff? There's a managing director. There's a general manager. So, yeah, maybe we'll be able to get that done. But anyway, if you view their players, apart from Hummels, maybe, and Hummels, who's injured, how long is he injured? Like, almost, yeah, a month. They've got Gundogan as well, uh, Mkhitaryan. But, yeah, Marco Royce is that kind of special player. Uh, very good finisher. He could, yeah, he could potentially just play as the striker. I suppose. I'm not really sure, but Royce is a fantastic player. I rate him a lot, and I love to have him. And look at all this stuff. He relishes the big matches as well. Consistent. This is a huge thing. Consistency is absolutely huge. Uh, he's got great pace, but you can tell that anyway. Um, natural in a couple positions. Um, adaptable uh, when living in another country. You know, sometimes that could be a problem. So we'll go for that. Marco Royce. Well, I told you, I get so excited when you have the money. I said I could save it, but it's hard. It's hard to save it when you've got the money. Maybe we'll go, what's his value? Maybe just add his value, 27, we'll suggest. 59 million. Do they want any of our players? I don't think they do, but there's only transfer listed players. Angelo Henrique is a guy I'm actually trying to get rid of. He might be part of that deal. And maybe, yeah, I'll just try and get rid of some guys. Uh, that I don't want, like Andreas Lindegaard and <laughs> uh, Valrella or Varela. I don't really know if that helps, but I guess we're going to find out 30 million plus them. It says they're not prepared to respond immediately anymore due to being disappointed with the offer made. Yeah, they probably won't accept, but at least it'll give you time uh, to uh, yeah leave your suggestion. Uh, should I spend it all on... I'll probably have to spend close to 50 million. But yeah, I just, yeah, oh, that would be amazing uh, to improve our squad. But as I said, um, he won't be able to play in Champions League because he's already played for Borussia Dortmund and we probably will win the league without him anyway. So we probably don't need him this season. So yeah, I don't know. You're going to have to drop your comments. So yes, as expected, that offer for Royce would have been rejected. Uh, yeah, I got to think it's not really like FIFA. Because uh, I'm in, in my head of playing FIFA career mode right now, I'm recording a lot of it, and you can add players, and uh, the team's definitely accepted. But in Football Manager, if they're not interested in the player, they don't really accept. So here I'm going to have to make... Uh, I'm just going to go for 35 million. Even though I said... Or maybe 32.5. Like, I know I said we didn't need him, but I love Royce. <laughs> I want to get him to the team. And, like, we could play better. I can be playing better right now with him. And I kind of want that. Um, in my videos. Uh, anyway, we can suggest the terms. 53 million? I think, yeah, we'll just go negotiate. No adding players or anything like that. I know. We'll go 20 million up front. A monthly installments. 48. Who knows if I'm going to play like four more years. <laughs> um, we'll do 20 million. That's, so that's 40 million together, isn't it? And I reckon that could be acceptable. Suggest. Oh, yeah, they're going all these different ones here. Percentage of profit. Um, again, I don't ever considering... Yeah, I'm never considering selling him, so I'll just do it 50% uh, to hopefully... Uh, selling team wage can't produce... No, not, not, I don't want any of that. Uh, minimum league goals. I'll do when he gets to 50 because that's... It's going to be like far away. He won't get 50 goals for quite some time. Even if he does so amazing. At least three seasons, probably. But we'll add uh, 
seven point five million to that, and yeah, we'll just we'll lower the amount we're giving him right away after league appearances. Yeah, he can do fifty as well. Sneak that up to four point five, and sh- should we try that? So just terms. Whoa. Oh, they've negotiated an offer. Okay. What's it? I don't like per league appearances. Like every 10 game. Ooh. Like 30k is not much. Should I accept that? Nah, I'm just going to accept it. It's only like 16 million transfer budget cost. It's only 10 million up front. And then 24 million over 48 months after league appearances, 5.5 million. So after 50 games, and like I said, I'm not sure how long I'm going to play this, so I might not even play it that long uh, for him to play um, yeah over 48 months and also 50 games and uh, ten, yeah 10 international appearances. Who knows? Probably get that after a year or something. And minimum league goals, 50. So I reckon for the short term, this is a good deal. And yeah, we're going to have the money in the future. We're going to be making profit off a lot of players. So yeah, the only one I'm, I'm unsure about is the yeah the pay per game. But it's after 10 games. It's 10 games. And it's 10 league games, I think. But yeah, it's still... I'm always dodgy about accepting that. But it's only 30k and that's after every 10 games. So we'll see how it goes anyway. Because I'm not sure. Because I do have another series coming. It may be Bath City. And people may want me to start that. So I could win the Champions League and stop it. I might come back to this at a later date to keep it fresh. All that kind of stuff. But we'll see what happens. So expected news here as Pirlo accepts to sign. And actually, because there's been a lot of transfer negotiations going on this episode, we'll just do the one uh, the one game because I felt it's gone along, uh, especially with the Roy situation and a few other things. Uh, the transfer budget, I think it'll make this episode go a bit too long. I know people, uh, some people like that, but uh, I know there's some people that don't like them too long, and a lot of people that watch a lot of other YouTubers, and not everyone has time uh, to just watch my videos. You want to watch other people's videos as well, so I've got to um, keep sure about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we can buy him now. How much would it be to buy PLO now? Juventus are not willing to let... <laughs> okay, fine. But we're going to get him free for next season. And yeah, maybe if a guy like Axel Witz... But I can't I can't judge his performance right now because he's injured. We need him to allow when he's fully fit. But we could sell him and allow for Pirlo to come in uh, because we probably need to sell someone. We don't have heaps of center mids. Maybe a Will Hughes uh, can step up to the first team or yeah, Tielemans, because they're young players, I think he may be sent out on loan, but Pirlo could have injury troubles, you don't know, but yeah, he's going to help those guys develop into, yeah, great central midfielders, I would imagine, and Memphis Depay, if you want to, um, because yeah, I'm going to stop this about now, I'll show you what I've done, I've made his asking price 100 million, so that might scare teams away from making offers, so I like to do that with players that uh, I don't want to sell, but there's interest in them. Like, look, major interest on PSG for Yanazai. He's He might be about to say he wants to leave. She so put asking price, 100 million. For those that are not really familiar with uh, Football Manager, that is not the same as offering him to clubs. That's just setting his value. So keep that in mind. Uh, but that's basically it. Um, I'm getting a kind of inquiry about Calvin Miller. This guy seems like a young, decent striker. Uh, he's from Celtic, only 17. He's really, really quick. Uh, really similar to James Wilson, if you ask me. He looks really similar, doesn't he? And you look at his report, he's got that four-star potential ability minimum. Uh, yeah, potential be a star strike. He's got great pace. Um, he's fairly ambitious, can play a couple of positions, can play those wide ones, but not like the ones we play naturally. But still, yeah, as a striker, natural, uh, very similar to James Wilson. Um, he could be good. So we get a yeah, scout report, another one. Uh, do you think he could be a good signing? He wants to leave as well. His value is only 84K. So you would imagine we can sign him for fairly cheap. And yeah, he said he wanted to resolve his future or something like that. Um, he signed a new contract recently. Uh, he's labeled as the next Joe Jordan. Um, I believe he's a coach at QPR. Yeah, coach at QPR. I thought I saw him 
I heard of him before, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully, the deal for Marco Royce can go through. You saw eventually, it is up to 51 million, but you saw a lot of those clauses that may not even be done, depending um, how he does, of course, with goals and whatever, and international appearances, but also over 48 months. That's four more seasons. Am I going to play that long? Um, I could, or I couldn't. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.